probability of combined events self practice 9.2c question number one box k and box l contain four cards labeled with the letter b a y u and three cards labeled with the numbers one two five respectively a card is chosen at random from the box k and box l respectively by listing all the possible outcomes calculate the probability of getting a vowel and an even number so now the keyword is by listing all the possible outcomes so means that you need to list out all the possible outcomes after that based on the possible outcomes you find the probability getting a vowel and an even number you cannot use the multiplication rules formula to answer this question as you know this is independent event means that if i take out any card from the box k never affect the result of i take out any cards from box l so number of sample space equals 4 times 3 equals 12 so what is possible outcomes of getting a vowel and an even number as we know vowel is a e i o u so based on box k we have a and u so i start with letter a with an even number and letter u with an even number so we have two possible outcomes a2 and u2 the probability getting a vowel and an even number equals 2 over 12 so after simplify it we get 1 over 6 question number 2 a fair dice with four faces is labeled with one, two, three, four. The dice is rolled twice and the numbers that the dice lands on are recorded. By listing all the possible outcomes, calculate the probability of getting two odd numbers. Again, this is independent event. And number of sample space is four times four equals 16 same as question number one we need to list out all the possible outcomes and based on the possible outcomes we find the probability of getting two odd number so the possible outcomes of the dice brought the first time are one two three four and possible outcomes for the dice brought it at second times also one, two, three, four. So maybe we can get first odd number is one, second odd number also one. And maybe also we can get first number one, second number is three. Or we can get first number three, second number is one, first number three, second number three. So we have four possible outcomes which is 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, and 3, 3. Probability getting two odd numbers equals 4 over 16. If we simplify it, equals 1 over 4. Question number 3. According to an investigation, the probability of rainfall on mountain as in May is 0.45. Calculate the probability that mountain as will have two consecutive rainy days in May. So to answer this question, we can apply the multiplication rule. So keyword is n. So when keyword is n means we multiply. So probability of rainfall on mountain S in May is 0 0.45 means that the probability of rainfall on mountain S in first day is 0 0.45 and probability of rainfall on mountain S in second day also 0 
So 0 0.45 times 0 0.45 equals 0 0.2025. Question number four. Box T contains five cards labeled with the letter C, E, L, I, K. Two cards are taken out randomly one by one from the box T without replacement. Calculate the probability of getting the first card labeled with a consonant and the second card labeled with a vowel. So now the keyword is without replacement. If without replacement means this is a dependent event. If I take out one of the card from the box, only four cards left in the box T. So for dependent event, the number of sample space, you can do like this. First time we have five cards. So after one card taken out from the box T, only left four cards in the box. So times 4. 4 of sample space equals 20. If the question never mentions any specific method you need to use to answer, you can use either listing method or multiplication rule of probability to answer this question. Now I will show to you how to apply multiplication rule of probability in this question. As you know, the multiplication rule of probability is probability event A and B equals probability of event A multiplied probability of event B. So now, probability, the first card label with a consonant and the second card label with vowel, we also can use the multiplication rule equals probability the first card label with consonant times the probability the second card label with vowel. So what is the probability of first card consonant? So we know here first we have five cards and consonant we have C L and K. So the probability for consonant cards is 3 over 5. And probability for second card is vowel because only left 4 cards in the box. We still have letter uh, vowel, letter E and I. So 2 over 4. 3 times 2, 6. 5 times 4, 20. When we simplify it, 3 over 10. Question number 5. A box contains 12 bulbs where two of the bulbs are burned. Two bulbs are selected at random from the box. By sketching a tree diagram, calculate the probability of getting two burned bulbs. As on the question, we know this is dependent event. Still remember what is dependent event? Probability of getting the first light bulb affects the probability getting the second light bulb. So this is dependent event. To sketch a tree diagram, we can draw like this. B represents burn light bulb. A prime represents good light bulb. First we have two burnt light bulbs and ten good light bulbs. So probability getting a burn light bulb is 2 over 12. Probability getting a good light bulb is 10 over 12. This part, after getting a burn light bulb, we only left one burn light bulb here and 10 good light bulbs. So probability of 10 again burn light bulb is 1 over 11. Probability of 10 good light bulbs. We still have we still have 10 light bulbs here. So 10 over 11. For this part, because first light bulb of 10 is good light bulb, so we still have two burn light bulbs here. Nine good light bulbs. So probability of 10 burn light bulb now is 2 over 11. 
probability getting a good light bulb is 9 over 11. First outcome is BB, B prime, the B prime B, and fourth B prime B prime. So now we want to calculate the probability getting two burn bulbs. So where is the probability getting two burn bulbs? This part, right? Burn and burn. So probability getting two burn bulbs, we choose here 2 over 12 times 1 over 11 equals 2 over 132. Simplify it equals 1 over 66. Question number 6. The following table shows the number of the science and mathematics society members in SNK Didet Jaya. Two male members are selected randomly from the male members. Calculate the probability that both members chosen are from the morning session. Keep your answer correct to four significant figures. Okay, now the keyword is male members. Total of the male members is 220. The choosing first male member from the morning session is 124 over 220. Choose the first male member. The total male member in morning session is 124 minus 1 equals 123. And total of the male member equals 219. So probability choose again another male member is 123 over 219. Was 1271 over 4015 equals 0.3166. Two members are selected randomly from the afternoon session. Calculate the probability that both members chosen are female. Give your answer correct to four significant figures. From afternoon session is this part. So the total is 178. Choosing first female member from afternoon session is 82 over 178. Whereas probability choosing the second female members from afternoon session is 82 minus 1 is equals 81. And total with minus 1 equals 177. So probability choosing second female members from afternoon session is 81 over 177. So we use the multiplication rule against to find the probability both members chosen are female. So female and female means we multiply. So 82 over 178 multiply 81 over 177 equals 1107 over 5251 equals 0.2108. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.